What's up everybody, Josh Scott here. Hey, we uh, get a lot of questions at Flight Test about uh, where's Josh Scott, what's he doing, what's he up to, what's his other job? Well, today the guys um, asked me to do a little vloggy vlog to let you guys know exactly what that job is. So this is my place of employment. It's called Faith Family Church in Canton, Ohio. Basically, I got hired here a little over 10 years ago. No, almost 11 years ago as the youth worship leader so I used to like sing and do the music for for the youth um, but now my role has changed a little bit I'm the music director for the entire church so what I do is I write a lot of songs we actually record a lot of albums and so I produce our albums I also develop a lot of our musicians kind of train our younger musicians and oh, there's geese also, we do a lot of events here, so you guys actually are getting to see a really cool, uh, a really cool part of my job. This week, we have our Love Is Red event. Love Is Red started out as a youth uh, and young adult conference, but it's kind of grown into basically more or less. It's like our church's version of flight test. Uh, we have uh, groups from all over the country and even out of the country uh, come here. We get together, we have a good time. It's a big party, uh, but we also build relationships with a lot of the people that we meet here and kind of network with everybody uh, just to kind of benefit each other and uh, it's gonna be a good time so let's go inside and we'll check some stuff out love is red that's the logo actually fun fact Chad Austin the guy who designed the uh, flight test gremlin he designed this logo he's our graphic designer here extremely talented guy one of my best friends so this is my office here. A little bit messy right now. That's what everybody says when they bring somebody into their office. I write music, I record music, I work in Pro Tools here. Yeah, a lot of times what I'll do is when we're working on a new song, I'll record a demo here in my office and then take it to the rest of the band and we kind of work through it as a team. And uh, we've actually recorded a couple albums here. Oh, fun fact, this weekend um, at our Love is Red conference, we're actually recording live. Uh, so a little added stress for me but it's a good kind of stress um, I think it's gonna be great it's gonna be a lot of fun and the reason why I do what I do it's me and my daughter Charlie that's my son Logan that's a picture of my wife and that's actually a really old picture from when she was like 18 19 20 years old and the reason why I have that picture from that era is because back then I asked her out many many times over the course of I would say four years and uh, many many times she said no so I keep that picture to remind myself that anything's possible. And that goes for you too. Uh, now, like I was saying, I work in Pro Tools uh, to do a lot of the recording that we do. Another program that we like to use is one called Mainstage. I use this keyboard here, and Mainstage has a huge library of all these different, it's gonna load in just a second, here we go. Come on, okay. So Mainstage has a huge library of different uh, sounds and everything, um, so I use, a lot, I use this for a lot of the recording stuff that I do. I can even record drums on here, um, you know, if it's just for a demo, for a rough demo, I'll use the drum sounds in Mainstage here just so I can kind of get an idea of what the song is gonna sound like, and I'll record all of that into Pro Tools. So this is just one of the demos that I recorded. This is actually one of the songs that we'll be recording live uh, this weekend. So we're pretty pumped about that. And this is uh, this is my life, staring at these uh, colorful lines. So this is the stage here. Uh, this is part of my home, and uh, oh, this is my actual home right here. I usually play drums more than anything else. Um, I play bass and guitar and keys a little bit too, but drums is the one that I play more than any of the other ones. This is where we'll be tonight, and uh, we have rehearsal in a, about half an hour or so. Yeah, and so this place will have a bunch of screaming, crazy, probably sugared up uh, high schoolers and college age students, so it's gonna be a good time. This is where I live. Drum land. Let's go talk to the lighting guys. They have uh, some cool toys up there too. Okay, so this is Aaron, and he works here too. He is our, our lighting guy. He's gonna show us some cool st stuff here. What kind of board is this? So this is a Grand MA2 full-size board. So this, this screen 
all this, this screen are all port, part of this console. And then we've got a TV that shows what content we're sending to the big LED wall. This computer monitor over here is where I pick what video content I want to go up. All that video content gets triggered through my lighting cues. I've got lists for every song, all the different parts of the song. This is a song we're doing tonight and basically all we have to do is just hit go and all the lights will follow the cues. Here, the board's telling it to bring up this. This is my preview so I can see what it is. And then there it is on the screen. So through this, I can actually pick all of my different video files that I want. I can tint the colors, I can speed them up, slow them down. There's actually an audio layer that's in his laptop. It sends a signal that uh, is a time code. So um, I have this screen here set up. As soon as he hits play on his track, this clock will turn green and start uh, ticking up. Yeah. And then you'll see right here, um, all these little arrows on this line are all the times that I want my uh, lights to change to the next scene. So as soon as he hits play, this little timer will start moving across here. And every time the green line comes to one of these uh, arrows, it'll automatically fire the next cue. And that way we know that everything's always gonna be syn syn uh, synced up. The, the time code does 24 frames per second. So basically we can make our cues accurate within 1 24th of a second to when they fire. Cool. Thanks, Aaron. Yep. So this is our front of house board. It's a Yamaha CL5. And it's a digital board, which is nice because uh, we do a lot of songs and this way we can save all the settings. You know, if a guitar is supposed to be louder on one song, but quieter on another, um, we can save those settings and just go from song to song automatically. And um, don't really know too much about it, but I know that this is quieter and louder and quieter. Okay, so this is Kyle, and Kyle, you're like the production manager, right? Right. And this is his world that he lives in. Tell us about, so we stream our services and stuff like that, right? Yeah, we stream our services. Um, those are actually done over here. We stream from an iMac. Uh, we use Livestream.com, um, and we just have a little black magic I.O. that goes into it. But our service is done on a um, HVS 390 4A switcher, multi-edit, so it's got two two outputs on it and we run nine cameras, sometimes more. So for conference, we're gonna be doing nine cameras plus two GoPros. We then run a LED wall out there. So we use our middle um, switcher that controls the, the LED panel out there. We can drive any content we want to it separate from our iMag. So you can you can put content on the screen, but Aaron can also do that as well up at the lighting Correct. booth. Correct, they have a media server at the front house. Yeah. To drive our content to the LED wall, we're currently using Resolute. Um, it's based out of the UK. It's a VJ software, but it works fantastic for any kind of visuals. Um, and then it will also do SMPTE time code, so we run visuals that are locked to our music tracks via time code. When we lock everything together, it all comes from, basically the main signal is coming from the stage, and the band plays along to the click, but that also triggers the video from back here. Correct. And then that also triggers Aaron's lighting cues from front of house as Correct. well. So, um, from the stage of the keys, they send a time code signal out. It goes actually to the soundboard, and the soundboard then splits it out to all the areas that it needs. So it comes to um, audio world, video world, and lighting world then at that point. And everybody gets the same time code signature that will lock all video, lighting, audio all in place. So we're all together. Okay, this is Daniel, and he uh, plays the keys, and he's a mastermind when it comes to this program I was talking about earlier called Main Stage. Basically, all my sounds come from main stage so I run all software instruments in here I have a couple different uh, sound packages that I use Omnisphere is one of them um, which just has tons of different uh, synth sounds a lot of great samples and then I also run a lot of tracks through main stage as well so I'll import different wave files and clicks and things into main stage and then I'll uh, output them through different outputs so that way we can have some backing tracks to accompany like all of our live stuff as right well. so we'll like record like a string like a cello part or something like that we don't have any cello players up here on stage but we have the track for this cello running through main stage here so now right. voila we have cello in our song for this uh, specific show I'm running two different laptops this one is controlling all my uh, live sound that I'm playing live and then this one has all the tracks and then also the synth bass. Uh, yeah, so in main stage you can lay out, so here's a picture of basically what's going on, the yellow and, and green areas above the keys. That's one particular sound, and then over here is another sound, and then here's a couple other sounds in between. So depending on where Daniel plays on the keyboard. So 
So you got a few different sounds you can work with, and it's pretty cool. And so you can also, he's got a, he's got a second keyboard here. So this one down here has sounds at the end of it. Some bass is on this one here. On this one, okay. Oh, okay, there we go. So, so this guy right here is showing you the sounds that are on this keyboard down here. Really, options are pretty much endless until you run out of CPU. And then everything crashes. Hence the reason we're running two systems. That's why we're running two systems, because we have had some crashes. And we don't want that to be happening tonight, or tomorrow, or the next day. Cool. All right, thanks, Daniel. Yeah, for sure. So we always do a little opener uh, to kick off the conference in a fun way. And so tonight, uh, so basically it's usually like a, a song, but like with a lot of like cool elements going on. So tonight we're doing a song. We're doing something a little bit different. On both sides of the stage, we have these platforms that are kind of high. I'm gonna jump oh, up here. So we have these platforms uh, that have these drums on them. The drums aren't mic'd because they're more for visual effect. But what we've done is we've actually put some LED strips inside the drums that shine on both the top and the bottom. Uh, we have these lights here behind us, LED lights, these bars that light up, so it'll kind of backlight the drummers. They're extremely bright. Um, so at the point of the song where these drums are revealed, um, they're going to light up. Uh, the drums are going to light up. And not only that, but we have down here these buckets full of water. This is kind of like a hose and like a motor coming from like a fish tank. And so what that's going to do is that's going to drop small quantities of water onto the top of the drum heads. So when they hit the drums, the water is going to pop up in the air and it's going to be illuminated by the LED uh, strips that are inside the drums. Uh, so they actually, I mean, when you put cardboard and LED tape inside a drum, it doesn't sound really great. Um, but they're not there for sound. These drums aren't even mic'd. They're just there for visual. And it should be a cool visual. Um, the guys who are playing these drums, there's one here and there's one way over on the other side of the stage. Um, the guys who are playing these drums, it's basically like being in the splash zone at SeaWorld. So it's going to be fun for them. It's going to be fun for anybody that's standing right down here as well. So. It, uh, it's gonna be cool, I hope. But it's just a fun way to kick things off and kind of get the party started and uh, have some fun. Mm -hmm. 